Hey everyone, my name is Ashley and I am an analog collage artist that loves to experiment and today we are going to make a zine. A zine is a mini book that is self-made and self-distributed indie style. There are a variety of zines. There are political zines about social issues and movements. There are fan zines about the bands and movies that the maker loves. There are personal story zines, which contain a lot of raw and emotional poetry and narratives. And there are art zines, which is what we're going to make. I love zines. There was a period earlier this year where zines were my hyper fixation and it was all I wanted to make. I love them because it's just a great way for me to like flex my creative muscle and just get something on the page without having to overthink or overcomplicate it. These are my two most recent zines. The surprise for tomorrow is all about death and mortality. Before I made this, I just purchased a book that had a lot of vintage etchings of skulls and skeletons. And while it makes for some, you know, dark subject matter, I was really inspired by it. On the opposite end of the spectrum, 100% less evil is literally about nothing. This was just me having fun and making eight really silly collages. And so far, this is actually my favorite zine that I've made. I just really enjoyed the process, and that's why I think I love it so much. For today, we are going to be using this little scandalous number here. I impulse bought this book a few weeks ago, and as soon as I got it in the mail, I took one look at it, and I said, I just bought a $15 paperweight because I'm never going to use this. And so on my shelf it went, but this morning before work, I just randomly picked it up and started flipping through it. And it was interesting, you know, we have these like scandalous photos, the only fans of their day. But as I was flipping, I was like, these are really silly and over the top. And there's a way to experiment with these and play around with it because it can be funny. And I think it can be funny without completely removing the context and stripping these women of their sexuality. We can do both and I wanna try it. So I have cut out 12 of these lovely ladies because we are going to make a 12 page zine. I've never made a 12 page zine before. All of my zines have been eight pages. We are going to go through the entire zine making process. We're going to make all the collages, then we're going to make copies and we're going to bind it. Hope as we're doing this, you're going to bring out all of your collage materials and make a zine along with me. The first step of course is to fold our zine. For 12 pages, I'm going to take three sheets of eight and a half by 11 inch paper, I'm going to turn that landscape mode and I'm going to use a bone folder. I used to skip this step and I would fold my zines, however, you know, whatever, which way. And I found that this really does make the difference because you want a nice, crisp, clean fold. So I'm going to get that stacked up and lined up as close as I can. And I'm, I wish I was more precise with these things, but that's precision's not my strong suit. I think that's about, that's about right, right? Okay, and then just get Okay, I think we did it, fam. Yeah, okay, all right. So, so far, we're off to a wonderful start and it's all downhill from here. Okay, so next thing is label the pages. I do this because I often work on my zines either out of sequence or like while I'm doing one page, I'll take it apart and focus on that page exclusively. So doing this just helps me keep track. 12 pages includes the front and back cover. So yeah, label, front cover. I have awful handwriting, don't judge me too harshly. Cover. 
All right, so what we have here is a complete mess, <laughs> but not a collage artist unless your workstation is a disaster. So we have our zine, our main subject matter. I have these little Ziploc baggies of words and logos that I've been cultivating since I began collaging. I have my uh, collage elements I've been going through and I just ripped out things from my other hyperfixation lately, which are images from children's encyclopedias. I used to sleep on those, but I find that they are a great source of pictures of just stuff. And they were on sale recently, so I got quite a few. So all of that. And I'm not sure if I have enough material here, so I might have to go you know, through my library and pull more things out to complete a 12 page scene. And the great thing about zines and analog collage is that it is super low maintenance. All you need are a few basic things. We have our scissors. I'm very particular about my scissors. So I have what I think are, you know, top of the line ones. And we have our glue. I, okay. Lately I've been using the Gorilla Glue spray adhesive and it's been my favorite. I, have only been using this on canvas and wood panels. I've never tried it, you know, paper to paper. And I'm curious to see how it works. This might be a disaster because this is really heavy duty and it might be too much, but I love the spirit of just messing around and this is an experiment. So we're gonna, you know, fuck around and find out. Also, I never begin a zine with the front cover. I typically will flip a few pages, work on the inside, and then to the front cover because I want to get a feeling and a sense of what the zine is and what it's all about. But because I know for sure that I have a unified element throughout each of the pages, which are these pinup photos, I feel more confident in just starting at the natural beginning point. And um, I already chose what I want the central images of the covers to be. As I was going through the anatomy part of my encyclopedias, I found these two images of, you know, the exposed human body. And there was something about that that kind of got my, you know, brain moving as it does. And I was thinking about this whole idea of nudity and looking at the human body. And it's in a literal way here. Our eyes are drawn to these women. But in this sense, this is the true nudity. We are seeing, uh, I don't know, we're, I, I can't put it into words. It's like we're seeing what's, what's going on under all the skin, the elaborate network that's happening inside of your body. And I don't think that we give women, especially in these positions, that same amount of power acknowledging their complexity. So I wanted to feature that in a way. So um, let's see who goes with who. I think I want to do her with this body because I'm, I'm feeling the two pinks here and our magician with the skeleton. And now we have to decide which one is front cover and which one is back cover. I think um, Magician Lady, a lot of intrigue there. It's like, what is your story, ma'am? What is your little trick? Do you, you know, rabbit out of the hat? I don't know, I don't know you, but I want to know what your deal is. And this woman is giving off like friendly vibes. Like, hey, I'm smiling, back is turned, what's going on? Um. So who is our cover girl? I feel like some man in the 1940s also had to make this very tough decision. I get it. I understand. I empathize now. Um, Magician Lady to me is more interesting, but I think that, again, I'm getting this like welcome vibe from her. So I think she's front cover and she's back cover. So... Set that aside for now. And I always take my zines apart when I work with them and just go page by page. So we're going to pull all of this out. 
and let's see what's going to go on the page with our main images. Um, and again, I just cut out random things. I don't have really compelling ideas. So we're going to Marie Kondo it. Everything on my, uh, okay, everything on my left will be the maybe pile and everything on my right will be the spark story pile. So maybe, maybe, no, wait, actually spark story. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so I have cut some things out and now let's see what is going to make the final edit. I know for sure that we want to use these two pieces. They are the most important parts. And I want to use this bismuth crystal. I just think that this is so pretty. And every time I encounter one of this in my books, I always cut it out and I've used it multiple times. Um, and then this is a bottle of perfume that's shaped like a woman. And there was also a, another bottle, uh, that's shaped like a man. And so I think it would be fun to have woman bottle on the front cover, men bottle on the back. Um, and I don't really feel strongly about these. I don't want this one. I don't feel strongly about the rest of these things good or bad. Um, I thought this could be used for some background texture perhaps. And these could as well. So let's see. Uh, the four things I know I want for sure need to go down first. So if I do that, it's not showing that it's a body. And if I do that, it is covering her body. Okay, maybe you're not gonna work. This goes, and this goes. I want to cover up the area where the book abruptly uh, cut off the arm. So, and maybe, I'm just going to trim it off so we can hide it completely. No longer an issue. And I kind of wish that they were the same size, although perhaps having the, the body be a little bit. No, I want them to be the same size. I want them. I want it to seem as if this is her internal life essentially. So I need to cut off at the above the knee. All right. A little closer. Now <laughs> the leg is bothering his leg is bothering me or her leg is bothering me. Um, so that Gotta go. Okay. That's more of what I had in mind. I like that. Um, bismuth crystal. Wait. If I... Do we like the body perfume? 
Or is it cheesy? I think it's a little cheesy, not gonna lie. I, I imagine that I would find this cheesy in real life, so it's not gonna go. Okay. Okay, and I want to pretend that this is a female body, which is why I'm covering up some, some bits. Okay, bismuth crystal. Up. And I kind of want the ridges on this to show. So. I'm going to slide these over so they're not dead center. Okay. And I, I do like the crystal. Um, I do. I like it. Don't overthink. This is not what the zines are for. It's just about putting something on the page, expressing what's inside of me. And we don't have to, we don't have to overcomplicate things at all. Go what feels right. And that feels right. I want some color, some more color. Um, and let's explore this, this piece. Uh, yeah, I want to do this. Um, I will take out the blue sky, leave some of it though. And where do I want it? Okay. Okay. A little torn edge. think that is our cover. I like this. And now it's time for a little experiment. We are going to try the Gorilla Glue. If it's not going to be the end of the world if there is some slight buckling to the paper, because this is just the master copy, we are going to make photocopies of it and it's going to smooth all of that out. We just don't want the glue to impact the other pages negatively. So I am going to clear the board reluctantly because I have this issue where I will forget where I wanted everything immediately after it's gone. Not the best short-term memory. <laughs> so, um, okay. And our glue, give it a little shake. All right, moving on to the back cover. 
I believe that I cut the skeleton down a little too much, not as much as I was intending to. Um, so that's kind of bothersome for me. And I honestly do not feel like trying to go in and cut between the ribs. I, but I don't like, I don't like how that looks. So I think we're going to have our lady obscuring that. in some way. Hmm. I also, which, what, which part bothers me more? Hmm. Let's see. On the front cover, Our Lady is on the left side. So on the back cover, let's put Our Lady on the right. Okay. Um, that didn't accomplish at all what I wanted to do. I want to hide the ribs. So let's see what we have here. I cut out, sort of, I cut out a heart, but then I got rid of, you know, a bunch of really important things that are supposed to go with a heart. So, uh, okay, I don't know. I have a few roses. I have a big one and there's a small one lurking around somewhere. I also have, for some reason, some Twizzlers, which I thought would be a cool texture. Um, and then a few more things for texture. So, um, <laughs> the heart, I kind of like. But not for this. I believe our rose will help cover up that rib cage. I'm gonna lift him up a little bit more. I'm gonna get him a little, I don't want him right in the center. Alright, the front and back covers are complete and I think that these look great. I'm super happy with how they turned out and I'm even more excited to see what the rest of the zine is going to be like. I think that we're off to a really strong start. However, I have severely underestimated the amount of time it takes me to make a collage, let alone two of them like this. So at the risk of this video being several hours long, I'm going to stop here and in the next video will make two more pages and then two more pages on and on until we get to the end where it's time to copy and bind. So I hope that you will continue this journey of zine making with me. I'm having fun. I hope that you're having fun. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe for more. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.